My name is Paul O'Donnell, I'm 35, uh, from Ireland, and I've been repairing almost as long as I've been breaking things. So I got involved in the repair movement through community building, um, being involved in community spaces where people had broken things and other people had skills, so people coming together and just showing other people how to repair things and then learning together. Repair is important for lots of different reasons. Um, reducing the environmental impact of society is an important one, so extending the lifespan of things, but also if you want to look at it from a community way of looking at things, it's, it's something that people can do together. Um, so the community is coming together, sharing skills, sharing space and learning how to repair things while also reducing the environmental impact. So one of the biggest challenges to repairing things is often that it's designed in a way where it's not supposed to be repaired. I can remember fixing a computer console that I had when I was a kid and to get into it, to repair it, what was broken, you actually had to break the casing open. So the design of things and how it's designed is, is one of the biggest challenges to repairing things nowadays. Repair would be a lot easier if things were designed to be repaired. If you could open them, repair them and put them back together without any problems, that would be the biggest change. The right to repair to me means designing things so that people and communities can be empowered to repair and extend the lifespan of items themselves. It's hard to summarise repair in one word but satisfaction would be a good one.